Welcome to MaxSurf webinar 4, video 7 on batch analysis in Hydromax. Batch analysis is an easy way to automate time consuming or repetitive tasks in Hydromax. It's particularly useful for carrying out analysis of all the combinations of load cases and damage cases when running large angle stability and equilibrium analysis. You can also use it to automate the execution of limiting kg analysis, cross curves or KN analysis, and longitudinal strength analysis. When running any of the analyses that require heal, you can optionally specify to run the analysis in both directions, both to port and to starboard. That's useful when you have some asymmetry in your model or some asymmetry in your loading condition. While the report uh, generation is automatic in the batch analysis, it goes out to a text file. There are also a couple of options to send the formatted report to the report window in Hydromax or to the report in uh, Microsoft Word. Let's switch over to Hydromax and from the analysis menu I'm going to choose Start Batch Analysis. The first selection at the top is to automate execution of large angle stability and equilibrium analyses. There's an option there to separate the outputs into individual files. That means we get results for each load case in a separate file. The amount of data can be quite large so that's a useful way for managing that data. The limiting kg analysis has options to find the limiting kg for each criterion individually. That means that you can do a bit of a sensitivity analysis to see how each criterion is controlling the limiting kg condition. And once the limiting kg condition is found, it's quite helpful to run a large angle stability and or an equilibrium analysis depending on the type of criterion that's in effect. That will give you the exact results at the limiting condition for those two types of criteria. Automating cross curves of stability and longitudinal strength is also straightforward and that will automatically run them through all of the load cases in the case of longitudinal strength. Although there is an option to send that analysis results to the report window, in fact we generally recommend that you just use the built-in text file generation that happens automatically or set the option to send the results to Microsoft Word. So if I click OK to execute my batch analysis, Hydromax will ask me where I want to save the batch analysis results. Note that that's for the text file, so that I've just put that onto my desktop. And in fact, I've already run this analysis. So now I can switch over to Hydromax from Hydromax to Excel, and I can load up the text file into Excel. Because it is a text file, Excel will ask me to uh, choose some settings for that text file. It's tab delimited so you can just click finish and it should automatically evaluate all the data in the file correctly. You'll see that there's some header information relating to the type of analysis and the analysis settings and then as we proceed further down the file you'll see that it automatically tabulates the tanks and compartments, the list of criteria which are tested and the results of the limiting kg analysis. You can see here these are the same results that we saw in uh, Hydromax in the previous video. The difference this time is that because I turned on the option for analysis of each individual criterion, I can scroll through the list and see the individual results. So here we can find a particular criterion and see the exact results that result uh, from that criterion and the resulting limiting kg. So batch analysis is a really useful way to automate time consuming tasks and produce an extensive report of all of the different combination of analysis results. Thank you for watching.